Hi guys, welcome to ASA Technical. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix laptop not booting and reboot and select proper boot device error. When a laptop fails to boot, it can be a frustrating experience. One of the most common booting error is the reboot and select proper boot device error, which can be caused by various of reasons. Here are some common causes of the error. If the files that the computer uses to boot the operating system are corrupted, the error message may appear. If the boot order in the BIOS is incorrect, the computer may try to boot from a device that does not have a bootable operating system. If the hard drive is not properly connected or has become damaged, the computer won't be able to boot from it. If the BIOS settings are incorrect or have been modified, the computer may not be able to boot properly. If the hard drive has failed or is failing, the computer won't be able to boot from it. However, don't worry. Here are some steps you can take to fix a laptop that won't boot and the reboot and select proper boot device error. So, let's get started. You can try using a Windows installation disk. If you don't have a Windows installation disk, then here's a certain tutorial for you. Insert the disk and restart your laptop or force shut down by pressing shift plus power button. Now turn on and go to your PC's BIOS or PC's boot manager to boot from that. In my case, the BIOS key is F2 and the boot manager key is F12. Check your manufacturer information for the BIOS key. Ok, once you enter the PC's BIOS or boot manager, select your Windows installation USB to boot from that. Select your language preferences and click next. Click on repair your computer. Select Troubleshoot and click on Command Prompt. Type Disk Part and Press Enter. Type List Disk and Press Enter. This will display a list of all the disks on your computer. Type Select Disk, your boot disk number, where Windows is installed. and press enter. Type list partition and press enter. This command will display a list of all the partitions on your disk. Type select partition, your OS partition number where Windows is installed and press enter. Type detail partition and press enter. This will display detailed information about the selected partition. Check the partition style section. If it says MBR, this method may not work and you need to continue with the second way to MBR partition style. If it says GPT, continue with the step. Type exit and press enter to exit disk part. Type boot rec space forward slash fix boot and press enter. This will fix the boot sector of the selected partition. If you got access is denied error, then type boot sect forward slash nt60 space sys and press enter. This will add boot code on all targeted volumes. Now again type boot rec forward slash fix boot and press enter. Ok, now as you can see the message the operation completed successfully. Type boot rec space forward slash canos and press enter. This will scan your computer for windows installations. Type boot rec space forward slash rebuild bcd and press enter. This will rebuild and boot configuration data bcd store. Now type A for all to add installation to boot list. 
After that, close the command prompt and restart your computer and see if the problem is solved. Continue if you are using MBR partition style. Type bootrec space forward slash fix MBR and press enter. Type bootrec space forward slash fix boot and press enter. If you got access is denied error, then type bootsect forward slash nt60 space sys and press enter. Type bootrec forward slash fix boot and press enter. Type bootrec space forward slash canos and press enter. Type bootrec space forward slash rebuild bcd and press enter. Now type A for all to add installation to boot list. Type exit and press enter to close the command prompt. Restart your computer and see if the problem is solved. Well, as you can see, Windows was successfully booted without any interruption. Access your laptop's BIOS or UEFI setting by pressing a key during startup, usually F2, F10 or delete. Check the boot order setting and ensure that the primary boot device or a secure boot.efi executable file is set to the hard drive that contains your operating system. For example, as you can see, I am going to set this Ubuntu secure boot.efi executable file as primary boot priority order. You can also disable any other boot devices that are not needed, such as network boot, wake on LAN, USB boot. After that, save configuration changes and exit from the BIOS or UEFI settings. Now, it will restart your computer and see if the problem is resolved. Well, as you can see, our Ubuntu was successfully booted without any interruption. Check for misconfigured BIOS settings. If you suspect that the reason your laptop is not booting up and showing a reboot and select proper boot device is due to BIOS setting issues, here are some steps you can take to fix the issue. Access BIOS settings. To access BIOS settings, restart your laptop and press the key to enter BIOS setup, usually F2, F10 or delete. If you are not sure which key to press, refer to your laptop's user manual and manufacturer's website. Check boot order. Check the boot order settings to ensure that the primary boot device is set to the hard drive that contains your operating system. If the primary boot device is not set to the hard drive, change it to the correct option. Disable unnecessary boot devices. Disable any other boot devices that are not needed. This will ensure that the BIOS only looks for the hard drive when booting up. Once you have made changes to the BIOS settings, save and exit. Your laptop should now boot up without any problems. Reset BIOS settings to default. If the changing the boot order or disabling unnecessary boot devices does not fix the issue, you may need to reset the BIOS settings to their default values. Refer to your laptop's user manual or manufacturer's website for instructions on how to reset the BIOS settings.
If you suspect that the reason your laptop is not booting up and showing a reboot and select proper boot device error is due to loose or damaged hard drive connections, here are some steps you can take to fix the issue. Turn off your laptop. Before opening your laptop to check the hard drive connections, make sure your laptop is turned off and unplugged from any power source. Locate the hard drive. The hard drive is usually located in a compartment on the bottom of your laptop. Refer to your laptop's user manual or manufacturer's website for specific instructions on how to locate the hard drive. Check the connections. Once you have located the hard drive, check the connections to ensure they are securely in place. If the connections appear lost, gently push the hard drive connectors back into place. If you notice any damage to the connectors, you may need to replace them. After checking the connections, test the hard drive to make sure it's functioning properly. You can run a diagnostic test on your hard drive by accessing your laptop BIOS or UEFI settings and running a hardware diagnostic test. Once you have checked the connections and tested the hard drive, close up the compartment and reboot your laptop. If the hard drive connections were the issue, your laptop should now boot up without any problems. If you suspect that the reason your laptop is not booting up and showing a reboot and select proper boot device, here are some steps you can take to fix the issue. Backup your data. If you suspect a hard drive failure, it's important to backup your data as soon as possible. Replace the hard drive. You can replace the hard drive yourself if you are comfortable doing so. Once you have replaced the hard drive, you will need to reinstall the operating system and restore your data from the backup. Consider upgrading to an SSD. If you are replacing your hard drive, consider upgrading to a solid state drive for a faster performance and improved reliability. So I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide then please let us know. Please like, comment, share. We need your support. And guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.